Hello, I'm David from Clear Vision Systems and this is the 70 meter HDMI Cat5 extender which uses Ethernet cable to carry HDTV signals. Ethernet cable is often used in AV installations and there are several reasons for this. Standard HDMI cable is heavy and bulky. The ends are fragile and they can't be removed during installation. Also, HDMI cable becomes unreliable at distances of 20 metres or more. On the other hand, Ethernet cable is cheap, it can be terminated in the field, it's light and small in diameter so it's easy to install, and it's reliable over long distances. The kit consists of a transmitter, a receiver, two infrared transmitters, two infrared receivers and one power supply and the power supply in use can be fixed to either end, either the receiver or the transmitter. This extender uses HD base T technology to transmit uncompressed HDMI over Ethernet cable. So the kit can be used with shielded or unshielded Cat5e, Cat6 or Cat6a cable terminated with the usual RJ45 connectors and these can be wired to either the T568A or B standard. HD Base T also supports infrared signals to pass remote control commands through the same cable. The maximum length of cable for 1080p transmission is 70 meters. For 4K at 30 Hz it's 40 meters and the minimum cable length is one meter. I have a 1080p source here running through HDMI cable to the transmitter. It's connected to this reel of 50 meters of Cat6 cable which is connected in turn to the receiver. The receiver is connected to this HDMI test unit which simply tells us the resolution and the test unit is connected to the monitor. The system can be powered at either end so I'll swap that over as a demonstration. That also shows that the system is quite robust And also I can disconnect the Cat5 cable, sorry Cat6 cable in this case, and reconnect it. And it fairly quickly re-establishes a connection and displays an image. Another advantage of HD Base T is that infrared signals can be carried either way, or both ways. So I can attach a transmitter to the source end and a receiver to the display end. And that will allow me to control the, dis the source from the display. And there are also, there's also the facility to plug in a transmitter and a receiver so that I can control the display from the source end as well using the supplied additional receiver and transmitter. So I'll just start up the 1080p footage.
and a close-up of the image which shows that there's no degradation at all. And that's the end of the demonstration. Thank you for watching.